Pick one and Dak. Dak does not have power greater than two. Still a solid first pick. Hull Breacher, however, does. You like hot sauce on tuna? Interesting. Never jammed it. Looking at Arc Trail, looking at Bitter Reunion. Ooh, Shorakai. Just like a much more controlling version of our, of our uh, last deck, <clears throat> maybe. Wing announcement's good. Days is good. I, I like Shorakai a lot, though. Oh, does Shorakai count as a creature? It sort of has power of eight, Tom. Can we get a ruling on vehicles? <laughs> I, mean, I could grab a Daze here. I don't give a fuck. Technically not a creature. Yeah, but is it, is it outside the spirit of the step? I care more about the spirit of the step than like what is technically not allowed to crew it. Hell yeah, Mark. I do hope you get better, you dude. You think it's similar to a Planeswalker spitting out three threes? That's valid. That's a valid take. Skydiver here. Double up on the deck theft. Short guy is basically a planeswalker, yeah. I think that's why the argument made sense to me. A little colonnade action. What if I take this balance and then cut back on the creatures? Metamorph's a funny one. Oh no, that triome, huh? That triome. I really am just running back the last deck. Maybe the balance will give me a different twist. Oh man, I'm already starting to feel better. A little bit of food in the tum tum. A little bit of gin in my tea. Hmm. The well wishes worked. That's what it was. Yeah. What's the bizarre? That's a game that's in development. Thoughts and prayers. Have thoughts and prayers ever not worked? You made many well wishes. You're out of many coins in the water in your village. Chase Scoppery. Oh, no. When I was a kid, when I was like four years old, I would see all the quarters in the um, in the fountains and jump, jump in and start like stuffing my pockets. <laughs> and my parents let me do that for like a year before someone finally explained to me, yo, you probably shouldn't do that. I feel like Rona is more of a 5-5 five five than Blade Splicer is a 3-3. Three three. They both like feel off step to me, even though they're not really. Same with Mentor. <laughs> Do they just want the fountain money for themselves? Probably. You think Mentor fits the step really well? It becomes a 3-3 so easily, though. <laughs> All right. I like Lorian Revealed. I like Ponder, too. The mana rack's kind of nice with balance, but it'd be nice if it was also fixing my mana, if it was tapping for a relevant color. Parallax Wave's pretty juicy. I'm going to take the Ponder. I haven't had enough cantrips lately. Esper Sentinel, Memory Lamp, Staff of the Storyteller. This could li literally be another Staff deck. I do like that card a lot. Spellseeker's interesting. I'm kind of feeling the Subtle Team. Oh, I can't draft the Subtle Team. I was just thinking about it as like a free spell. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about casting it. I was like, yeah, pitch card. Perfect. Um, we could grab Revoker for the sideboard, or we could take the Spellseeker. I don't play Spellseeker very often, but it could maybe work out. Portable Hole, perfect. I don't need the Chain Lightning either. 
Yeah, spell seeker for balance. Oh, very cool, Helio Arm. Why are you uh, commissioning a song? Yeah, Time Walker recall would make the spell seeker look a lot better. You're not wrong. Teferi, Thraven Inspector. Let's take Teferi. Release trailer for your game. Hell yeah. Yeah, right, Frykus? Should be off the fucking hook. I like how Research Desk is a way to store cards and play before you balance. Currency Converter could kind of do that too. Oh, Currency Converter plus Dak loots could be good. I think I'm into that. Need a bit more fixing. I'd love that Wrath though. It's like step one, your mana base, step two, everything else, right? Correct, go lands. Yeah, two picks per pack. So everybody ends up with a lot of power. I think it is the, the I think it is allowing duplicate power, Heliorn. I think they said that in the article. Unless I'm misremembering. Hey, the P Wave wield. Yeah, everybody's been like trying to correct the record. <laughs> Because they did it the other way a couple of times, but no. Yeah, I'm not high on Malcolm either. Am I enjoying my last day of normal Vintage Cube? I am. Had a couple of good games in there. Some real close ones. You correct the record by putting a dime on the arm. Are you doing it right? Depends on where you get the dime. If you took it from the local wishing fountain... And that's absolutely correct. Yeah, I think the issue with like taping a nickel to the the arm or whatever to counterbalance is that it's still not going to be properly weighted, and still just have a really good chance of ruining your records over many wears and tears, over many spins. If our mana was better, I think I would dig this counter spell, but I, I'm not actually sure how often we're going to have double blue on turn two. I kind of dig the chrome Mox. We've got a few cards that like really make up for your um for the for the pitching immediately, right? Like balance does that. And then Shorkai and Teferi are both ramping into, and they both also give you your card back immediately. A lot of artifacts in here, but oh hello. Yeah, we need like a couple more red sources to make the deck splash better. People do love saying Shion's. I don't think this really looks like a Shion deck. That was more typical blue-white contr dirtle control, right? Ooh, a fourth splash. We, do, we are taking over Tarn, but it's super worth it to take it over Tarn. Managing into this one hum. And it makes two twos? Perfect. Perfect in this step. Yeah, like it's, not, it's not even a pure blue-white deck, right? I'm playing red here, too. Hmm. I think I'm supposed to grab that Narset. The auto R was tempting them. I would love this Flame Slash. We don't have a ton of actual just point and click removal. The Talisman's actually really good here too. But I think I prefer the Vantage. The cool thing about the Vantage is it doesn't. It takes up a land slot, not a not a spell slot, right? We also don't like have a ton of things for the talisman to ramp us into. It's like fourth to fairy and shorakai. Otherwise, our curve like doesn't really play that well with talismans. Ooh, more duels, more fixing. Nice. Pack three has been really good for us. We haven't gotten like actual power, but mana drain, fourth, bunch of dual lands, all that stuff's pretty important. Uh, I think crewing shorakai is fine. This is like not a creature, right? Like a planeswalker that spat out three threes is also not a creature. But if the stip donator felt differently, you could always not crew it. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. You crew it kind of rarely anyway. I'm gonna take containment priest for the cyborg. It's been really good for me today. I like the Oust. I like the Fire Islet too. Yeah, give me the Oust. That'll be a little bit more controlling.
Just added a whole bunch of removal. You like priest for par with parallax wave in the main deck? Yeah, I could see that. I mean, our last draft we basically wanted containment priest in the main deck anyway. It's probably worth it. It's probably worth it alongside the the parallax wave. Lauren's cue with Narset. You can activate the Lauren on their turn. They won't get to draw a card. Yeah, we even passed a piece of fixing. Hmm. So we did a couple cuts. Maybe Lauren should still be a cyborg card. Same with the Fire Ice. I really like Bitter Reunion with the Monastery Mentor. But maybe it's a cut. Maybe Fire Ice is better here. A little more controlling. So there's only five red sources. I would like more. This would be eight blue sources, which is enough. You know, I'm not counting chrome mocks. More would be nice, though. And this is ten white sources, which is more than we need. I think I like cutting a braid for Lauren. And then a red requirements are pretty light. Like, we absolutely need it for deck Faden and Forth, but Ice can cycle and Spell Bomb can cycle. So five five red sources should be plenty for that, huh? What's the weakest color in the cube? That's a hard question. I would say green right now. Green's got some excellent gold cards in Minsk and Boo and Oko. And uh, maybe Ren and Six. And it's got a few really good beaters. But it just doesn't have the, the quality disruption that most of the other colors have. With the exception of um, Pest Infestation. I don't hate ousting concealed curtains, but there's a chance that like they would get to flip it before we got to Shurikai. Endurance is not on my list of quality green cards, no. Yeah, sideboarded Angry Penguin. It's like a Relic of Progenitus or whatever. It's not like a reason to be in green. Hmm. They do have mech suits in this game, yeah. Very odd. Nice. I'm just glad we got the short guy down first. Not happy to lose any of the remaining cards that I had, of course, but I'm much sadder about losing that one. Now we can ice their swamp, which might just be a time walk, right? And like the Thoughtseize was their only play last turn. Interesting. Maybe it should have been balanced there. And then Chrome Monks and get to activate the staff too.
yeah, we're never going to actually catch back up. I like taking the monolith there. For one, like, I'm going through plenty of cards a turn. I don't need the loot from Nack. For two, there are, like, infinite mana combos with the monolith. <clears throat> Pretty good turns. It's rare to have a bad turn when you're activating Shorakai. And it's, like, one of the reasons that I really like Time Warp in this deck. Because we have Shorakai and, like, a few random Planeswalkers and stuff. Right, Irish? That's what I was thinking. Hey, fair enough. I got my staff too. Oh, perfect. So I go to one, and I've got a pirate spell bomb in play. Okay. They tapped us out and didn't kill them. I'm pretty okay with that. <laughs> mm. These are like the best Atali hits, and I don't think they're quite good enough. So Parallax Wave can exile five uh, tokens here, and Lulamon gets to kill my Pirate Spell Bomb. So the Spell Bomb's not repping lethal. But then we like O ring the Ulamong, and our last knight kills them. Absolutely absurd hits. And still not quite good enough. Very close, though. I'm very close to good enough. Why is Atali always bonkers when opponents play them, but awful when I play them? That is a very good question. That maybe, <laughs> maybe I'll be able to solve someday. Nah, Kroon's fine. Hey, Lumbering Falls, takes about 30 months. We can pump our Monastery mid-turn. We can crew our vehicles. Cool. Yeah, they had some, uh, some very good turns, Tom. Huh? That Fiery Confluence was great. Pop in two of my dry engines. We've gotten just enough value though, just enough cards deep. But the game was much closer than I thought it was gonna be for a while in there. Really didn't want more lands. Very difficult to shuffle away action here. Zoom and sneak attack, hitting the bin. I'm going to play into Fiery Confluence here and probably regret it and hate my life. <laughs> They're so excited. Oh, Chandra, though. Chandra's different. Good to fairy talk. I think activating Shurikai is better though. I think just getting the cards is better. The left blockers back. Are they worried about me crewing here? Blue source. Interesting. Super shields down here. But next turn next turn I should be able to hold some stuff up. Hopefully that's not too late, hum. Every turn you activate Shorakai, your hand just gets so much better. I 
They might just be ramping out a uh, Itali. Note that Itali is not very good if you don't clear its fairy first. I think they're salivating at the idea of ulting this Chandra, but I think we can just, you know, to fairy tuck it next turn. That should be okay. Reanimate with no targets. No targets at all. I'm supposed to get Narset down this turn, so they can't use Chandra to place replay season Pyromancer and have it be good. Not gonna have to mana drain the season Pyromancer. Which I didn't really want to do. I think I should elude with the Mana Tithe instead of the Dak too. Deck plus Narset is kind of nasty. What a fucked up card, huh? The mana drain into fourth dream. Yeah, right? I don't actually know which was more important, the, the Shorakai or the fourth, these games. They were both, like, pretty key, right? Uh, <laughs> uh, Sneep? You're sneeping? Is that a sneeze keep? So we can take her foundry into staff next turn, or we could play the colonnade and have mana drain up sooner. I guess I can draw both and then decide next turn. I think I'm playing colonnade. Hell yeah, Ink Ink PW. Our last match, we played some very large fourth area linguses. My cube list, I'm finding that. Uh, it's outdated. It needs a lot. I think I'm gonna be changing like at least 10 cards. Sure. One's got one card in hand. I was gonna take their mocks. Yeah, vehicles were uh, okayed by the the stip donator. Monastery mentor gets it if we play a spell in in PW. It's it's all fine.
Yeah, like if I animated this colonnade, it would be a 4 4, but it's not a creature, it's a land. Speaking of which, very tempted to serve here. Opponent might be happy that I'm not. If you're going to point out removal spell at the colonnade in this spot, like if you're my opponent, you want to do it at the beginning of combat before I've declared it as an attacker. Because if I do play my mana drain to protect the colonnade, you would rather it be tapped before declaring attackers, right? Save four damage. Didn't come up here, but it's something to keep in mind timing wise. Versus colonnade specifically. Yeah, it kind of feels like they've been waiting for something to discard, hum. For that blood token. Man, that's really good. It's so much easier to answer than a grizzle brand, but I'm gonna counter him. Fourth, fourth off the top. Oh shit. Man, magic really is easy. Some people make this game look like really hard and it's super not. No graveyard hate chilling. Maybe image is good against reanimator. Oh, we have containment priest in the main, that's good. How many fours do I have in this deck? Yeah, right? I mean, when you draw the whole deck, it feels like more. Shoe on head are pre-recorded, but I don't have my shoes here. <laughs> I can put something else on my head, like my tea or my hot sauce, or my sunglasses. I can calmly sip on my, my gin tea. Only shoe counts. <laughs> Hmm. I didn't know shoes were so scientific. You prefer the third Eurolingus? Is the third of anything the best? Maybe Indiana Jones. The father son dynamic added a little something. Yeah, I don't think I don't think it's the true I don't think I don't think it holds true for Lord of the Rings and um and the Star Wars movie. I think there's an argument that like the third is the worst for for both of those. Despite the fact that they're still good and have highlights and stuff. You like the third Guardians of the Galaxy movie the best? I think that's valid. This fucking gut. Hey Warren, thanks for the ten dollar donation. The third Thor movie? Yeah, I think that's valid. The third Thor movie was the best of those. The competition was not very mighty. Alright, sure, Kai. <laughs> you got a little work to do here. Yeah, I mean, there's so many bands and so many band albums. So many folks get into three albums. Are 
if you don't, if you open it up past film to other genres, then third's gonna be the best a lot more often, huh? You're gonna get a lot more examples. Should have pondered before my land drop. Yeah, I would love to play the colonnade here. I'm just gonna shuffle. Him. Curi kinda curious what my opponent's hand looks like, right? It's gotta be like a bunch of chonkers without a discard outlet. You think the third evil dead was the best by far? Is that a common opinion? I'm not a I'm not an Evil Dead specialist. Cruising along. Yeah, I'm like telegraphing the mana tithe, but it could also be like a bolt or something. And if they spend their turn not doing something, then that's pretty good for me too, right? With my handful of three drops. Would I do another step after this? I would love to do another step after this. What do you think about domination? I don't know what this manifold key is about, but I'm gonna take it anyway. Neither tinker.com. So if I uptick with Dak Fate in here, they do get to draw a card, but then they have to discard two. I'm gonna target them anyway, it's fun. So they draw one, bin two here. Ideally, we're not looting them into like a questing beast or whatever, but. That is binned Uro and Tamio. Uro, not too scary with the Narset down, huh? Wow. Well, let's play Warren's Song Request. We've heard this song infinite. Let's see what Warren has for us. Thanks for the 10 bucks, Warren. This is To Be or Not To Be by Mel Brooks. Is this from the uh, the producers? They have their manifold key and their soul ring. Oh, could Lauren blow up the Mox? Ice Island. <laughs> this fucking track. You forgot about the Narset? Yeah, deck and Narset's pretty gnarly. Once we got them Hellbent, we could be activating um, Lauren on their turn, too. That's why I liked Lauren over uh, Portable Hole. Do we have the red sources for a braid? It's probably better than Fire Ice, right? Have a solid number of targets. This hand's a little slow, but it does have, like... A few of the cards that I really want to see here. So hopefully don't get rocked in the early game. Chrome Box would probably be one of our main better rips here, huh? Let me lure in. Just drawing lands is pretty good though. 
Breed would be solid. Let me clear that monolith. Let me break this up. This track has no right to be as catchy as it is. Hopefully we're not going to get Ugin here. I certainly have the mana, right? Oh, she went up. Hey, Apex Magic. Thanks to the sub. Thanks to 49 months. Yeah, I still, I still like learning the Grim Monolith. The copter's a little easier to skydiver, hum. <laughs> God. Noted, Lawrence. I mean, I won last round uh, activating a colonnade row row. Isn't that like the same thing? Really wanted that colorless mana. People love floating mana in response to get blowing up, getting blown up. It's like their favorite thing. I'm getting kind of close to that arrow. Really want to steal that soul ring, but I should probably just steal the cop dame. We're thinking about it. the issue is stealing the copter, and then they like play Nugan next turn. Uro escaping works to it. Contaminant Priest cares about if it's a cast. And you're casting when you escape it. Yeah, right to it. I've had to like reread that a few times. The Narset may be, might be able to break the extra draws anyway. Look at that. Look at them loot away the Ugin. There's no way they loot away the Ugin if we take this Copter, right? Because the Soul Ring represents three mana. They'd only be one mana away. Yeah, the overing effect looked good, but Perlex with Containment Priest is kind of great on this board, I think. Narset no, Laurent is fun, yeah. Terrible card, only good when you're behind. Oh, that is current for the extra mana. Hmm. Hate that. Truly hate that. If I had taken the overing effect, I would have exiled the Smuggler's Copter, and they wouldn't be able to do this with the upheaval. Oh, nice. That's a pretty good one.
Yeah, I kind of wish I would time warped earlier. Aim. Yeah, it was a good upheaval. They only get two turns with their soul ring, though, and then it's mine again. Just passing. So holding up some weird counter. So I should just contain the priest. We're ahead if we don't die. It feels like there's a very good chance we die, depending on what their hand looks like. Yeah, Mystic or Forest, huh? Not on board, they can six meme. A little surprised they're not bringing Euro back. The Containment Priest. I don't think the Containment Priest matters a lot. Like, if they'd bounced it, then we would have had, you know, time to replay it before the Parallax Wave dies anyway. Shorkai and Staff is spicy. That Deep Forest tournament's terrible for me. I can't keep them off double green either with the carry Tidden. Yeah, I need to keep that time warp instead of discarding it earlier. Wait, did I discard it? What happened to it? Oh, it's underneath the Chrome Mox. Yeah, I guess I don't know what I should have put under it. Balance, maybe. Oh, shit, what up? Hey, Zdbzki, thanks for the sod, thanks for the four months. You wish you could out sub with Twitch Prime? Yeah, a lot of folks have that desire. You can kind of understand why they don't let you, though. Sign into your grandma's account. Set it up. Then people that don't like aren't even using Twitch. We're jamming subs every month. This at least makes you go through the motions. I would not have a problem with it, Sotaglo. <laughs> oh, she went up. Hey, Satura. Thanks for the sod. Thanks for the six months. Hey, Vale. Thanks for the sod. Thanks for the 39 months there. You ads. Take my prime. Will do. Will do, friend. Oh, this time spiral's bad for me, hum. I'm getting to dump their hand here. Yeah, the fact that we just like couldn't get our hand down, that they had the counter magic up to protect the soul ring for those two turns. Game swinging mana confluence. The mana confluence, I think, mattered more than the upheaval. We 
But we did shuffle a balance back into the deck. Maybe that could be interesting. Balance might not even do it here. With the Seed Shark spitting out tokens. Yeah, I think that stuff just beats Beam. The Shark. Shark plus stuff. That would put you dead on board RBD. Right? I mean, we only have uh, two Parallax Wave tokens. And there's a Smuggler's Copter here. Mm. I guess if you exile the Shark, you would not be technically dead, but you would not be giving yourself much uh, breathing room there. I thought there was a solid chance we might end up, end up P-waving the, the Hermit. At least we're on the play for game three. Yeah, that could matter a lot, huh? My dog's named Pig with a 16-month sub. Yeah, hitting the shark immediately might have been better. For sure. Don't think they're in. Small use copter bank. Dead enough. You could Teferi bounce the, the vehicle and draw balance, but dead enough, I think. That game kind of made me want to fire ice in. I don't know what would cut for it, though. Yeah, I think I, think I want all this stuff. Maybe Tithe is worth, worse on the play. Eh, let's, let's just submit this. Dead to the incubators. Well, if you balance, you have a 2-2. Two -two. They can chump lettuce. I'll be right. There were two incubators, so they activate both of them and serve with their 2-2 two -two that's remaining. Or 2-3 three, three that, that they keep. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, dead's dead. Oh, does Tamiyo brick balance? That's hilarious. Chat sometimes, right? Oh, definitely. The more gin I drink, the more it's going to even out. I almost want to channel and blink out a door king. So they can play Soul Ring and use it with uh, the Manifold Key to get some mana here. And then I think we're going to touch the Spirit Realm and exile it. But fourth isn't crazy. What's up, Aegis? Yeah, we could have touched the Spirit Realm to the Mox Pearl and then tried to line up the Skydiver on the Soul Ring. Which gives you one more mana for fourth, but it also lets you... Um, Oh, God damn it. I kind of hate keeping this because you don't have the second blue source. But it probably works, right? Just like Parallax Wave into fourth. Ooh. That man inside, though. And they have Guy's Cradle, so I want to blink out these squirrels. 
sooner rather than later. I guess I take out the halfling for a turn. And then hopefully that finds me some blue mana hum. The unblockable, sure, sure. Pretty cool with that. Kinda just need to dodge up people. Oh shit, what up? Hey, delete the radio, these are the 20 months. Nice. GG's! Nice! Apparently, creatures with power greater than 2 are overrated. That's what we learned from that step. That's what we learned there. They did have some pretty sweet starts, huh?